On June 22, 2025, the US bombed Iranian nuclear sites. It used the B-2 stealth bomber to drop big bunker buster bombs like the GBU-57. The bombing caused extensive damage to Iranian nuclear enrichment centers. One thing that was observed from Operation Midnight Hammer is that Iran was just helpless. Its radars could not detect the B-2 stealth bombers. Even if somehow Iran was able to detect the B-2 bombers, there was no clear strategy on how to stop the bombing. Stealth planes like the B-2 can be detected, but accurate tracking and getting a missile lock is not possible. Is it possible for Iran to shoot down at least the GBU-57, even if it's not able to track the B-2? The B-2 and the GBU-57 is not invincible, as Chinese researchers have proposed innovative methods for shooting down the bomb in the sky. The GBU-57 is a gravity bomb, meaning it's dropped from a B-2 Spirit stealth bomber from an altitude of 50,000 feet. Using its GPS and radar antenna in the front, the bomb guides itself to the target. The bomb will reach a speed of 500 km per hour before hitting the ground. Using sheer kinetic energy, it punches through rock and sand. The bomb's casing is made from a high-density Eglin steel alloy, engineered to survive the extreme stress of deep penetration before detonation. According to the BBC, the GBU-57 can penetrate 18 meters into concrete and 61 meters into earth. The bomb carries a large penetrator smart fuse, which adjusts the moment of explosion. Despite being 13,600 kgs, the warhead weighs only 2,500 kgs. The rest is high-density steel. Iran operates many missile defense systems like the S-300, the Bawa-373, the Kodad-15, etc. These missiles have a range of 30 to 400 kilometers. Yet, Iran faces the same problem faced by other countries around the world, detecting stealth planes like the B-2 and the F-35s. The B-2 is a heavy strategic bomber that uses low observable stealth technologies. The B-2 is not highly maneuverable and lacks onboard self-defense like missiles, flares or active jamming pods. So if the B-2 is detected by any fighter aircraft, it's game over. There are two types of radar systems. The VHF or Very High Frequency Radar emits radar waves in frequency 30 MHz to 300 MHz. The VHF can detect the B-2 stealth planes. But that's not enough. To aim and fire a missile on the B-2, accurate tracking is required. The UHF or Ultra High Frequency Radar emits radar waves in the frequency 300 MHz to 1 GHz. The B-2 is designed and engineered to deflect almost all the UHF radar waves due to its shape and radar coating paint. So the B-2's presence can be detected, but getting a radar lock to fire a missile is challenging. Iran can go for an innovative idea of using a combination of UHF, VHF and passive radars. A passive radar is a radar that does not emit radar waves, but only receives radar waves. So Iran must first install passive radars all around the nuclear sites. When the B-2 strike group enters Iranian airspace, the long-range VHF radars will detect the B-2. When the B-2 moves closer to the target, the UHF radar will emit high-frequency radar waves. These radar waves will be deflected away from the radar by the B-2's curved surface. These reflected waves will be captured by the passive radars installed all around. Using integrated communication and data processing, the accurate position of the B-2 can be determined. The B-2 can now be tracked. The B-2's position can now be relayed to the AVACs and missile defense to accurately take down the stealth bomber. This method will work if the B-2 arrives without escort of other fighter jets. But normally, the B-2 strike group is always escorted by a group of F-35 fighter jets and is also headed by the E-18G Growler, an electronic warfare aircraft designed to jam all enemy radars and disrupt integrated air defense systems. The E-18G Growler can also fire the AGM-88 HARM anti-radiation missile, which can take down enemy radar systems. The Chinese have found a clever way to stop the GBU-57 bunker buster bomb. According to a Chinese researcher, the GBU-57 is very thick at the nose, but its sides are only a few centimeters thick. 
meaning just one or two anti-aircraft shells can break it open. A computer simulation using the Swiss Olicon anti-aircraft gun, which can fire 36 shells in 2 seconds, showed that if an anti-aircraft shell is able to hit the GBU-57 at a height of 1200 meters from the ground at 68 degrees angle, the GBU-57 will explode. The Swiss Olicon is widely found in the Middle East, which Iran can use. So when the B-2 enters the Iranian airspace, it will be detected by the passive radar deflection method. This information will be shared to the air defense units protecting the nuclear enrichment sites. Once a B-2 is detected, the anti-aircraft gun will fire. More guns must be engaged to achieve a hit. Heavy anti-aircraft fire will disrupt the accuracy of the bombing raid. Iran can stop the GBU-57 bombs from exactly landing on the nuclear enrichment sites, or at least scare away the US strike group. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.